What's good YouTube? My name is Cody and I want to welcome you here to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a concept that you can utilize out of the trips tight end formation to beat one of the most popular adjustments that your opponent is probably going to do if you are running trips tight end. This has become, I think, one of the better adjustments in the game against trips tight end. I'm going to show you what it is and I'm also going to show you how to counter it. I'm going to give you two different, two or three different ways that you can counter this. Um, this so that they can't stop your number three receiver. So we're just going to come out in the play PA counter go, which is the best play um, in my opinion in trips tied in. And what you're going to see here is what makes this play so good is we are able to get over the top of any default zone base, whether it be cover two, cover three, cover four, it doesn't really matter with this route combo right here. You're going to see that we're going to be able to kind of hit this crossing route if they leave it with their user. So you see, just pass lead it right there. And you see how good of a route that is. It's about 25 to 30 yards on a crossing. Now, what a lot of people have figured out at this point in the season is if they go to the cover one robber, they can do some some some, some really interesting adjustments. Um, they can go ahead and take that safety on the left side, put him in an inside quarter, which then gives them an additional player to user with over the middle of the field. And as you can see here, this is going to be a really good defense for PA counter go because that vertical hook will defend that that deep in route. And then you'll see that this inside quarter will defend this route right here. It makes it very difficult to throw that. As you can see, he basically runs the route for him. And this is a popular adjustment. It's actually an adjustment that I taught here on the YouTube channel earlier on in the season. Um, I taught it also in my Patreon membership. If you've not joined our Patreon membership, that's where you can get my most in-depth tips. You can also get all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. We have over 20 offensive and defensive guides in the Patreon membership. The other cool part about the membership is that they update all the time. So every week you're getting new content in the membership to help you become a better player. So if you wanna check that out, for only $10 a month, you're gonna get all the stuff that currently exists in the membership, which is over 20 eBooks, hundreds of updates that we've done throughout the course of the season. But you'll also get access to any new content, any new eBooks or any new uh, updates while your membership is active. Of course, I've got the 335 wide and the trips tied in broken down in that membership alongside of several other eBooks. So if you wanna get access to that, there's a link in the description that you can click on and you can go sign up to become a Patreon member uh, today. So how do we deal with it um, whenever our opponent is running this defense where they're basically taking this defender on the, on the left and they're putting him in the inside quarter and then this now gives them freedom to do a lot of different things, right? They can, they can blitz out of this if they want to send some pressure to kind of keep, keep you in the pocket. They can also... Um, you know, just run kind of a simplified defense where it looks something like this, if you will. What are some ways that we can practically attack this? Because their user has a lot of freedom. And so the first thing that may come to your head is a tight end post, but their user has the freedom because they know that that crosser is going to get taken away and they can go user that tight end post. As you can see, it does win, but we really need something that's going to allow that inside quarter um, to, you know, to, to not be able to play so well. So I'm going to give you a couple of suggestions. The first thing that I want to suggest in this video, and we're just going to leave this basic coverage shell, is a slant post. And the reason the slant post is so good is because that inside quarter, it doesn't really guard the underneath route. So you'll see here, if I'm on a slant, I'm going to have easy separation and be able to beat that defense for several yards. Now, what this is going to cause is it's going to cause your opponent to maybe do some purpling. Right, so maybe they're going to throw, maybe they throw double purples from the linebackers, and then they're going to use her, you know, in the middle of the field. Something looks like just, just kind of similar to this. Of course, they're going to have that vertical hook on the backside. So now they're going to clamp down their underneath coverage on you, and I'll show you what you can do. Um, or you'll see now that this can create some problems because now, I mean, yes, you're skinny post over the top, but you can throw this kind of right in there. But that's a tight window to throw it. So what are some other things that we can do? Well, this is where I get into some of the motion snaps of trip side in. And what makes trip side in so powerful, in my opinion, is that some of the some of the different motion snaps that we can create. But what I want to show you here is let's say that they're running something like that on you and you want to get open on a motion snap. What you can easily do with this is we're going to drag. Um, you can drag your tight end. You don't have to, but we it, it really doesn't matter. I like to run the play PA slot corner. I think it's the best play to run for this. But basically, we're going to take the tight end, and we're going to put him on a curl. We're going to streak Scotty Miller, and then we're going to motion snap this guy right here. So you see, this can all work in regs. 
hundred percent. And what you'll see now is he's just it's now he's basically just manned up, and they basically can't cover everybody because they've kind of misaligned their man coverage. So that's one way you can do it. Another way that you can do it that I really like um, is to create a true Y cross concept um, with a backside shallow. So what you'll do with this is again, we're, we're anticipating that this is kind of the defense that they're gonna be playing on us. This is one of my favorite adjustments out of trips. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of stress them to put, have to use with a crosser. So if we can take this backside player and we're going to put him on that dig route and then we're going to motion um scotty miller to the right but we're going to put him on a drag route so you see here he's going to be on the drag we got gronk on the fade and you're going to snap it right about here now again you're going to get this just true basic man to man which we know that this route can beat in this defense as you can see right there we're able to kill this coverage now a third adjustment that you can make that makes this really, um, this is something that I really like to do when they're doing something like that. When I know that's the, the adjustment that they're just inside quartering this guy because they know that that works really well. And it does, it works really well against the standard uh, trips tied in alignment. But this is where I like to go to one of my favorite money plays in Madden this year um, out of trips, which is basically what we're gonna do is we are simply going to take the running back and float him to the left side. So how it will look and this is how i like to do it is i'm going to take the running back and i'm going to put him on a um on an in route i'm going to streak the tight end and then i'm going to run the exact same concept i just simply floated the running back over here now what you'll see is that that inside quarter really won't play that at all and it leaves that wide open it's a quick simple motion that you can do if you want to block your tight end you certainly can do that um, what I would recommend in that situation is if you're gonna block your tight end You really need to put this skinny post on the backside of this because now yes You can pick up all the blitzes the problem will become you know that you might not have that So I would run like a little bit of a maybe something like a mesh concept something like this right here um, If they were doing that adjustment because let's say they're, they they don't just have to do it out of man They can also do it out of zone. So if they do it out of cover three You'll see here that that inside quarter will just simply play like an inside quarter, but you need that post to pull that third back. And as you can see, this becomes a very effective concept. The bottom line is there's a lot of ways that you can answer this kind of defense. And um, I wanted to show you a couple of them. Another one that I love is we're just gonna not play through the number three receiver. I think that's a real simple one. Um, and honestly, a real slept on one. So if they're running something, you know, if they're running something like that, we're gonna do something like this and what you're gonna notice is we're gonna be able to still keep that PA counter go. So what I like to do is take that number two receiver and we can put him on the crosser or we have PA shot wheel we could do that with as well. So if you don't have power right master, that's it's not a big deal. And then we can just simply run a zig route to Chris Godwin and a deep dig to Mike Evans and of course the streak to Gronkowski. And this, this setup right here I think is really, really underrated. You have your zig early, you can throw it, you still have that dig coming back across and you see that this is a nice natural pick and rub and it gets over 30 yard clouds to Scotty Miller. So I love this concept. It's a real simple one that you can utilize um, to deal with this. And then, you know, again, like I said, just simple, simple things because the motion I, I think is certainly the most helpful, but again, the, the motion, if you notice, is causing us some issues because what you'll see with the motion, and I'll show you, I'm not gonna make any adjustments other than the basic one. So let's say that I put this guy in a vert, um, or whoops, this guy is in a vert, and this guy's in a quarter. When I motion, let's say that I motion, you know, Scotty Miller over, um, I just want you to see what happens. What you'll see is that outside corner, they can easily man him up on Scotty Miller, and now they're just playing, you know, basically two by two, man to man, which, again, now we, we know how to beat that, okay? I'm not saying that you don't know how to beat that. That's fairly simple to beat if we wanted to. I mean, there's a lot of things that we could do from this. But something simple like this right here, where you have that backside in, um, I think this is your easiest solution. And the reason why is because look how open that, look how open everything is. They're, everything's wide open on this play. Um, you might not want to run the dig. If you don't want to run the dig, run 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 a um, run a deep comeback. I think the deep comeback is one of the most slept on routes in all of the game, and this forces them to not be able to guard. So you see here, you got a zig. You got that route and then of course you got your crosser that should be open late again if you have a little better route running so 
this concept, these are some concepts that you can go to from trips once they start over adjusting to you with that inside quarter. I think this is a really critical thing. Again, the most simple answer is called slant post. This is why the slant post concept is really there or one of the many reasons why this is there. This concept, they can't really inside quarter because if they inside quarter, they now are responsible for using this. So they're gonna have to come under and they're gonna have to guard that. Now they might be relying on this three rack here, which is, is totally, you know, understandable. The problem is, you know, you just get in a situation where it becomes difficult to use or everything, but they're gonna have to come over here and guard the tight end, um, you know, if they're sitting right here, because it, the, the three rack, even if they shade down, which is gonna be their strategy, even if they shade down, that three rack you'll see here, um, it will eventually let it up right there and you can hit it right there. So. Um, this is just a simple way that you can kind of counter some of the counters to trip side in. So I want to thank you for watching the video. We go really deep into this stuff in our Patreon membership. If you want to get all my eBooks, you want to get all the updates and really some of the in-depth analysis that I have over there, I'd encourage you to join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below where you can sign up. It's just 10 bucks a month, gets you access to everything. And as long as your membership's active, you'll literally get all the future updates and all the future eBooks. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys next time.